Hello, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you. This is a reading for Gemini for October 2019, the first week of October. So I'm going to use the Tales of the Mystical Cats tarot cards. Um, Gemini, I told you before that you should uh, know your moon sign so you can also view that sign. And as I always tell you, I shuffle the cards a lot before I turn on the camera. So, and I do a little prayer, and I ask Spirit to guide me, so I've done all that. I'm cutting the cards, and I'm going to do a love reading, Gemini, for the general population. This won't apply to everybody, so please understand that. If it doesn't apply to you, just come another day or read your moon sign or watch your moon sign. So, because some days it won't make sense or it won't apply to you. It could apply to somewhere else. And then I'm going to pull an Oracle of E card for you and your partner, Gemini, and then the Angel and Ancestor Oracle card. So, I have one side for you, one side for your partner, and then a past, present, future card. And if I need to, I'll pull clarification. So, the first card we have for you, Gemini, is the Nine of Sky. The Nine of Sky is not being able to sleep. When you do sleep, you seem to have nightmares. Um, I don't know if it's something from your past. Well, obviously it's something from your past, but I don't know if it's something you did or I'm not really sure. We'll pull more cards on and see what comes up. Well, the card for your partner, Gemini, is the Priest. So this means intuition, ancestral knowledge, um, wise, clarity, somebody, your partner is very wise, very clear, intuitive. So the next card we have for you, Gemini, is the Two of Fire. The Two of Fire tells me that you're trying to make a decision um, about something that's going on right now in your life and you're contemplating something so the card we have for your partner is the nine of earth this to me means that your partner is also contemplating something they're thinking maybe they've retreated in from the world and they feel safe and they're thinking they're looking outwardly and thinking about their life and their world, if that makes sense. So the next card we have for you, Gemini, is the Sky Tom. And you're doing something to hurt somebody else and you're not thinking about their feelings. I don't know if it's with your mouth. It's, it probably is with your mouth. I don't know if you're talking about them or you're just not communicating well with them when you're around them. Um, but that's what that card means. So your partner has the chariot. This means news, usually good news, coming in for them fast and a change. Whatever that means. And I feel like whoever your partner is, they're ready for a change. They need some kind of news like this for some reason, whatever's going on in their life. So let me pull up a couple clarification cards. The first one is going to be for you for this uh, sky card. Oh, this is good, Gemini. This is the Six of Fire. This is, you have good friends around you who support you, who would give you the shirt off their back, is how I feel. Um, and it seems like you have a few people care about you. I don't know if you're having issues right now where you think people don't care about you, Gemini, but that card proves people care about you. Okay, the next card we have that I'm going to pull for clarity is the Ten of Earth. This also is friends and comfort. So this week, I feel like friends are going to come to you, Gemini, and comfort you over some kind of hardship you're having, and you're going to be happy. This is what I'm picking up out of those cards. So we'll pull another one. This is good. Wow, these are all like the same, the same theme. So Six of Earth is you and friends. You have something 
that you can share and it looks like you're going to nurture somebody. You're going to kind of take care of somebody, take somebody in this week and guide them and help them and put them on the right path. That's awesome. So we'll pull another one. Wow, these are just the same theme. So Nine of Fire. So this again would be, to me, is like a meeting card. I don't know if it's, um, it could be family reunion, could be a meeting at work, could be a meeting with friends over an anniversary maybe of somebody's passing, could be NA meetings, AA meetings. I'm getting that sort of thing out of this card. Maybe you have somebody that, um, around addiction, maybe something to do with addiction. So let me pull one more and then I'm going to pull the past, present, future. So we have Eight of Earth. Eight of Earth is you have a skill, Gemini, that you can teach people and they can learn from your skill, whether it's a skill in a relationship where you take the upper road and be strong, or it's a skill at a job, or I don't know, you have something you can teach somebody else right now this week in Gemini. And you sh need to figure out what that is, Gemini, and help whoever you're supposed to teach. Okay, so the past of your relationship was Ace of Fire. This is totally an action card. A lot of um, lust is what I think, is what I'm picking up. Okay, this is Eight of C. This fell out when I was shuffling the deck, too, so it's weird. It came up in the present of your relationship. This is somebody looking to material possessions. They're not looking at anything around them but money, money, money. I don't know if that's you, Gemini, or your partner, or what's going on, but somebody is very materialistic in the relationship right now. Oh, this is sad. So this is the demon cat, and I'm not laughing. This is not funny, but um, it's just a card, but it represents evil. It represents an evil person. Somebody in your life, in your future, coming. I don't know if it's going to be this week. Because it's just horrible to think some evil person's coming in your life this week. So I'm going to pull a clarification card on that and see what it says. Uh, and this is Five of Fire. This is people arguing and fighting. And this could be you playing. This comes up when somebody hurt somebody's feelings. So be careful what you say or what you do, Gemini, this week. Um, I'm not getting that that's being directed at that evil person, so otherwise it would come up differently. Gosh, these two cards always come up together. So, Ten of Fire. This is chaos. Chaos is in something falling apart like a friendship. That's basically what I get from these two cards. You are going to hurt somebody's feelings, and there's going to be chaos, and they're going to feel like you exploded on them, and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I just have to get out of here. This is crazy. But this is a very good card. This is Two of Earth. So this tells me it will balance out. Whatever's coming this week that gets out of hand is going to balance itself. You'll be able to balance everything. That's good, Jim. Excuse me, I have allergies, I feel like, coming on or cold or something. So this is Two of Sky. This is you making a decision about something. Could be your partner, I guess, too. Somebody's going to make a decision. They're standing alone trying to decide what to do. Which is okay. I tell all the signs, when you don't know what to do, you just stand, you hold still, and you wait. When you know what to do, I, I promise you it will just come to you. It will either come in your heart or come in your head. You'll know what to do, and, and then you move. And look what came up. I am so happy. The strength card. So whatever is going on here, Gemini, you have the strength to, to surpass this and make it through it. That's what I'm getting. So I'm going to pull the oracle cards because that's good. That's what I needed was a good card, and that's a strength card. So whatever's going on, there's going to be a little bit of issues this week, it looks like. But your friends are supporting you. Um, looks like you're going to be helping somebody. But also, maybe when you're helping somebody, somebody else is going to get mad. Maybe that's what I'm seeing there. And then some other person is going to come in come in, I think, that you don't even know or never met before that it's going to be evil. So maybe expect somebody to be really rude to you this week and it's just a one-time episode. I don't think it's going to happen again or you'll ever see that person again. So just let it go, Gemini. So the first Oracle of E card we have for you is Bazinga. 
And this is 19, which I tell you the number 10 is usually an ending to something. So it could be anything. Gemini, it could be a job, could be you've been sick and you're all better, it could be anything. Okay, let me find number 19. Oh wow, the book opened right up to 19. It's so weird when it does that. Well, well, don't you got it going on. Now's the time to revel in the sweet taste of Intabulous You. You've hit your mark. Go on, take a victory lap, pop a cork. Let's get this party started. Celebrants are lining up at the door. Well, oh, and we have a card for your partner is nine. Brand spanking new. That's beautiful. And your cards match and they both have nines. You got a double nine in your Oracle of E cards. I don't think I've ever pulled nine before. I've done a lot of readings. You know how it feels after a fresh rain. Everything is pure, clean, washed to its precious. Beautiful care. You just want to stick your nose in the air and take a big whiff. That's your life right now. There is not one blemish, not one flaw. It's a perfect 10. Wow, that's very cool, but I don't understand why they didn't make this card a 10 if that's what this card is about. Why is the card a 9? I don't know why I noticed stuff like that, but that does not make sense to me. Oh, goodness. I can't believe I pointed that out. So I'm going to pull the or Angel and Ancestor Oracle card for you. It's going to be Seer. This is awesome, Gemini, because I feel like a lot of you have this and you just don't use it. See beyond the current situation. It's awesome. So let's see what Angel and Ancestor Seer says. The message, look beyond your current situation, raise your vibration, and focus on love. Most indigenous, indi, oh my goodness, excuse me, most indigenous people, peoples have a seer, seer in the family or tribe. Seers are the intelligent and intuitive beings who serve as direct channels for information on what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. Their energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but showing you how to, how your intentions are creating it. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let your, let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your spiritual eyes. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, the card we have for your partner is Drum, Dream and Journey. I don't think I've pulled this card either. This is kind of cool. Drum, let's see what that means, Gemini. I'm still learning this book. Okay, there must be some different thing here. Hmm. Sorry when it takes a long time like this. Warrior symbols. Is it a symbol? It is. All right. Drum, dream and journey. Journey inward to uncover insights and information that will be important for your path and follow the guidance. In shamanic, shamanic traditions in all four corners of the world, the drum is recognized as the main tool used by medicine men and women to direct their will and meditation. A drumbeat can become hypno hypnotic and send those listening into an altered state that can allow them to journey to the spiritual realms and meet their guides. When the drum card appears in a reading, there are opportunities for you to dream or to bring an inner vision into reality. Well, so I don't know if your partner, Gemini, is very intuitive, but it pretty much says that this drum card appears in a reading um, they're going on a journey where they're going to go to spiritual realms and meet their guides. And gosh, you must know somebody pretty spiritual because that's, that's pretty heavy. All right, so thank you. Please like and subscribe for coming Gemini. Thank you. Come to Echo Catcher Tarot.